Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. I'll come sit over here. Um, have to sit in the middle because they have the chairs. Once again, now last we did the Cosmic Sour. We liked it, but we weren't thrilled with it. We gave it a B minus. So Which it was is pretty low for this series because you don't do a lot of B minuses. Not too much. But I've done some D's and F's too. <laughs> All right. Um, so that was kind of not great. All right. But we have Elizabeth here who's been joining us since 2011. Remember those days? I do. We have Babs, who is a newcomer, a guest Joining star. us as of 20 minutes ago. That's right. me. So uh, here is, now I did a, sing, a solo review of this, and then my friend David and I did a duo review, and now we're, we're doing, doing a trio. Trio wow. review. Wow. And this is the Stella Artois Midnight Lager, and it's best before May 6, 2020. So I've never had regular Stella alcohol. Artois, but I've seen the commercials. Oh, you've never had regular? Ah, uh, golly, if I'd have known that, I'd have bought, bought a can or a bottle. Huh. Well, Stella Artois. I'm not interested. It doesn't look very good. Yeah, but it's fun to say. Oh, Stella Artois. Artois. Yeah, Aren't the, those the commercials the with Adrian Brody? I can't remember. Yeah, and it's all the cool people drink it. You ever notice the commercial? Everybody on there is like really cool. Really hot, yeah. cool outfits. That's true. Yeah. So, Why we're drinking it now. Stella Artois <laughs> came onto the market from Belgium in the 1920s as a Christmas special. And it got so popular, they made it a regular beer. Oh. And then this year, they decided to come out with the Dark Midnight Lager. Well, you know, I like dark beer, so this might be more you don't. fitting. I like Midnight. For me, as a Did time you, of day. Have you had regular Stella Artois before? Yeah. yeah what does well, it taste like? I can't remember. Oh, just like a light beer, right? See, I'd probably hate I it. I don't think it tastes like anything particularly special. Yeah, it's just a, yeah. like the Belgian's version of Budweiser, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, it's a pretty normal beer. So yeah, Budweiser uses rice as their filler, and Stella Artois uses flaked maize, you know, corn. Yeah. Oh, flaked maize. Y'all know how I feel about Budweiser, so... Don't need to reiterate that. That was a negative. Oh, okay. I just think those beers are kind of trash. You know, they don't taste like anything. Hey, you gotta call them like you see them. Sure. I don't have to agree. I drink them sometimes. Okay. It tastes like corn water, carbonated corn water. You're winning some fans, and you're Carb alienating others. Caloric carbonated corn water. I like a Do you ever drink regular beers? Yeah, I, do, I don't like Budweiser either. Yeah. Okay, well, all right, I mean, folks, we're moving on. It's cheap. You got that going for you. I mean, it's yeah. cheap. You get a one dollar paps at the bar. You have to drink like twenty of them to feel anything. <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's not cute. Um, paps blue ribbon. Yeah, yeah. All right. But if I'm eating crawfish, PDR. no, that's a lie. Because if I'm eating crawfish, I'll drink a beta amber or a beta strawberry. There's no situation where I want to drink. And didn't you bud say anything. out of your merry mouth that you love to drink Bud Light Platinum with craw boiled crawfish? When I was in undergrad, oh, when I was in college, so many variations. That, yeah, then I did, but that's also a lot, I mean, it's not even really a light beer. No, it's pretty heavy. Okay, but back to this, getting off the rigmarole and the- um, Dark, looking like cold brew coffee over here, looking like a nitro cold brew. Yeah, it comes from dark roasted malts, and the hops are Hercules and Saz, if I remember. Hercules? That's made up. <laughs> that's a type of hop. And, um, it smells good. Hercules. <laughs> so it's 5.4% alcohol. Now, what do you get on the aroma? You can see the color. You've got a, like a, what's that color? Like a beige head? Yes. Yeah. Aroma. It's not too aromatic. It's a little fudgy. Memory. Like dark, almost like burnt coffee, maybe. Burnt coffee. Okay. Not in a bad way. I find it's very mild in the news. There's not a lot of aroma. In no. my case, what do you think, Babs? It's chill. Um, yeah. Hmm. What's going on in that nose of yours? It, it smells like a dark beer to me. Yeah. I, I just, I'm not really... She doesn't like dark beer. Well versed in this. Hey, well, let's give it the taste if you It smells a little bit like soy sauce. Soy sauce? Can you smell that? No. No. <laughs> I think you just like to say odd things. They've right. been telling me I'm wrong. Like you all said, day. the other one smells like sweet and sour. I just, no, I'm not telling you. Maybe wrong. I'm craving Chinese food. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what's happening. I'm not telling you you're wrong. All right, well, let's go with the taste. That's something. See, I know what it tastes like. I've been drinking the, the 12 pack. <laughs> so um, I'm going to let y'all do the It's a heavy beer. Coffee grinds. Yeah, yeah, I could taste that. Grinds like you, it's like you drink, drink the, the coffee grind. and you accidentally get coffee grinds in it and you get a sip of it and you're like, Bleh. and somebody made a beer out of that. <laughs> yes, it's my experience of this beer. 
like it was an accident. Yeah, it's well, pretty folks, powerful. Well, folks, y'all have seen my duo in single review, so you know my score, so I'm going to let y'all do the review. Very dry, very carbonated. <clears throat> yeah, it's got just kind of like a stale, like, it doesn't have like the richness that I like from a dark beer. It's very like coffee grinds. Yeah. Or like when you eat a chocolate covered espresso bean and you get to the coffee bean part, it's like that, but without the chocolate Half coating. the bottles left. I'm good, actually. Thank you. It's a little overwhelming. Yeah, I do get coffee grinds. I'll have some yeah. alcoholic eggnog later. So you See, just, I'm not always classy. You just find it strong and overpowering and gross. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of dark beers, you know. I just... So we better not let her try the CBS, the Canadian Breakfast Stout, that's 11.2%, oh, way wow. darker and stronger. Ooh, I hear that's a fan favorite. I'm but I mean, it, but it's not like maple bourbon barrels. too overwhelming or anything. I just yeah. don't really like dark beers. I just don't think yeah. it's very Hey, if you don't like it, you don't like it. You're not required yeah. to like anything. I have people tell me sometimes. Not that my expectations were exceptionally high. Yeah, I have people tell me sometimes, well, I'm sorry, but I just don't like that. I said, hold on. You don't have to be sorry. We all have different I didn't make like this it. beer. Yeah. If you don't like it. Different tastes. So you, you gave the Samuel Adams Cosmic Sour a B minus, so you're not looking too p uh, positive. So what do you score this? How much are they? It might work better as a candle. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting smell. Kind of yeah. like it's fourteen ninety nine kind of for a, like a it's fourteen ninety nine for a twelve pack. So that ends up being about how much per beer? I don't know, dollar ten. Okay. Dollar fifteen. I don't know. I mean, this is a good dark beer for people who aren't yeah. like trying to spend a lot on a dark beer but i kind of like it better as i drink more it is it. getting yeah the first sip was a little bit intense but yeah getting used to it yeah see yeah. i'm not worried about the intensity it's more this just like kind of stale like it's not stale because mm. this was made in 2019 and it's the best coffee by grinds day. grounds have i been saying grinds you have been saying grinds coffee grounds coffee grounds Coffee grounds. We're gonna correct pulverized. ourselves from earlier. <laughs> the, the freeze dried pulverized coffee beans you're talking about. Um, oh. Do you have a grade? Yeah, do you have a grade? <clears throat> well, I wouldn't drink this normally, so. You wouldn't go to a bar and buy it? No. So I guess I have to say, but I mean, but I like it as I'm drinking more of it. But is that just tolerating it? I'll give it a B. I think I have to go with like a C plus. Yeah. Like high average. Yeah. Just because, I, I mean, I don't hate it. I just would never go out to seek it. And I would give it a B minus if it weren't for it being such a reasonable price. So that's probably like what you are looking for at that level. I think I'm getting a little more critical since I've been drinking Trim Tab, <laughs> which is my favorite brewery you in Alabama. Critical. You could be as critical so as you good. want to be. Trim Tab, hey. That's your thing. That's your thing. Uh, so you. I like craft beer. You're qualifying your score by saying <laughs> that it's, in some ways, you got to take into account you don't really like dark beers. So. Yeah, so I'm going to be biased, yeah. So I'm sure someone who likes dark beers would probably score it a little higher. It'd be like yeah. saying, well, what do you think about this convertible? And then you tell the person beforehand, I really don't like convertibles, you know? Yeah. And they're saying, what do you think? What do you think? It's like, well, I don't, I don't really like those kind of cars, but I guess for a convertible, it's fine, you know? I wouldn't yeah, buy exactly. It. Yeah, so it's hard to rate. Yeah. But you know, you're not. You're not saying it's a low-quality product, right? Mm -mm. Well, no, that wouldn't be a C-plus anyway. No. Okay, no, so I don't think it's a low-quality. I think it's good for what B it is. B-minus, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we got two B-minuses in a row from you. No, B. No, no, no. That this is like me grading papers, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they no, try. If you're saying B-minus, you're saying it's marginally <laughs> they good. They try. If that's how you feel about it. If you, you, I don't want to be a snob. I do. I'm not. I'm no, I don't think you're being a snob because you're rating something the way you feel about it. I have so many feelings. I feel bad now. Okay. You okay. feel bad. So we got a B minus, but she's, I don't know, I, I really don't know what your score is. She's a little reluctant, yeah. And you're saying it's a C regular plus. B, but it's like low. Like an 83 then. It's an 83, yeah. yeah. I'm What's saying 5.4. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. So if you drink a few of those, you, you'd know it. Yeah. Um, I would think stronger, yeah. I gave it a 93 because I like I like dark beers, you know. I do too. And um, I like that coffee flavor, but that's just I do me. too. So, but you you found it was a little lacking. I okay. Like coffee and so anyway, uh, <laughs> they put it on the market. It's only going to be on the market till the end of this year, anyway. And we'll see what they come up with next year. Maybe a, a 
better. spice winter beer or something, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, summer beer. I like the bottle and the label. Yeah, the bottle's cool. Yes, they did a good job. Uh, good job, advertising department. Good. All right, so Lazy LA Bon Ton Relay, and we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Don't forget your phone over there.